Hi, I'm Garth McKenzie from traderscorner.co.za. This week, I'm taking a look at the price of silver and how it relates to the price of gold as well, and how we can possibly trade and move higher in silver, which looks like it's happening at the moment. So we start with a look at the long-term chart of silver. This is a weekly chart that goes back all the way to uh, 2018. And it, it looks at the resistance level that was broken at $19 um, on the silver price. Uh, in the middle of last year, in the middle of 2020, you can see the price managed to break up through the top of that very big base uh, that, it, that it occurred at $19. And that saw a nice big move to the upside. Now, since August last year, the silver price has really been consolidating. And you can see that quite clearly on the top right of that chart there. Now, if we go on to the next chart, it just shows this a little bit more clearly. And this is still a weekly chart of silver, but I've now made it into a line chart. And the reason I've done that is just that the line chart shows the weekly closing levels, which are just uh, cleaner. There's quite a lot of noise on the candlestick chart that I was showing before. Lots of wicks to the upside and the downside. But this line chart shows all the closing levels on a weekly basis. And what's evident here is that there seems to be an ascending triangle pattern that's busy forming here for the silver price. You can see that labeled quite clearly with waves one, two, three, four. And then the fifth wave from a technical perspective is usually the wave that breaks to the upside. So we'd now be looking for a possible breakout the top of that ascending triangle pattern and that would then mark the fifth wave and that would project to another higher target from here. Uh, the level to watch is about $28 on the silver price. If we could see a weekly close above $28, that would be bullish and that would validate a break out the top of that ascending triangle pattern and it would project a move to around about $32 and possibly $34 in the near to medium term for the silver price. So overall, still pretty bullish. Um, one would need to see a break below the fourth wave, the bottom of 0.4 on that chart to invalidate this pattern and to negate the bullish view that I'm talking about here. But for now, it seems the higher probability setup is for a break to the upside above the top of that ascending triangle pattern. Now, the next chart is a look at the silver to gold ratio. And purists out there will say that a, a true precious metals rally needs to be led by silver and you generally want to see the silver price outperforming the gold price in a really solid precious metals rallying environment. Now that hasn't been the case for a number of years, but it is now the case at the moment. And if you look at the, the blocked off area in the bottom right of that chart there, that shows the, the price of silver relative to gold over the last year. And you can see how it's broken a downtrend and the, the silver price has been outperforming the gold price over that time. So whilst there's quite a lot of bullishness around gold at the moment, the price of silver on a relative basis actually looks even better than gold and it's outperforming gold at the moment. Then the final chart is how we can possibly trade this setup. And I've got a chart here of the iShares Silver Trust. It's an exchange traded product. It's listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And this is a daily chart. So it's looking at fairly recent trading activity. But what's clear here is that there's a nice well-defined upward trend evident there. You can see that going back to late March and how the price has pulled back to that trend line on a number of occasions and has held that trend and bounced up off of it each time. Um, there are a couple of little continuation patterns evident in that chart there as well. You can see some wedge patterns and currently it looks like there might be a bull flag pattern setting up here. So if the price can get up above about $26 for this uh, ETF, then that would bode well and that would probably mark the start of another leg to the upside in the near term. So overall, I think both from a longer term perspective and a shorter term perspective, the setup here technically is looking fairly bullish for silver. That's all I've got for you this week. I'll be back again next week with another look at some more market analysis.